Welcome everyone to episode 105 of No D Q and A video. Now you see I have the party hat here. It's not episode 100 all over again. There is another reason to celebrate, and that is Dixie Carter on Twitter just announced that Vince Russo is no longer with the company. I feel like singing, man. Celebrate good times, come on. Hell yeah. Vince Russo gone from TNA Wrestling, and there might actually be hope now for TNA. We'll see. But for now, let's get right down to your questions. So I was just watching Raw, and they just pulled an X-Pac, Kane, and Tori with Cena, Eve, and Ryder. Where do you see this going? Well, for starters, I don't think that John Cena is going to be involved for the time being. I think after No Way Out, the focus is going to be John Cena versus The Rock. And um, like I said before, it looks like it's going to be Kane and Zack Ryder feuding. And uh, perhaps Eve will uh, align herself with Kane. Uh, we'll have to wait and see where that goes. But um, I mean, with the whole storyline, it's so goofy and uh, so over the top. But I will say that I... I uh, I thought it, it uh, was executed well, and uh, the crowd reaction was good, especially when Eve uh, told Zack Ryder she still wanted to be friends. And I think every male in the audience can identify with that, and uh, you can you can tell by the reaction, like they were like, bitch. So, um, you know, I, I thought it was entertaining, and it didn't really do a whole lot to build up Elimination Chamber, but it, it's all about WrestleMania at this point, so I'm really fine whatever whatever they do with these storylines. And... Uh, you know, would further develop the the John Cena embracing the hate kind of situation. So, you know, whatever. I I, I thought it was okay for what it was. And um, but yeah, I don't really see. A, I mean, perhaps after WrestleMania they can uh, get Cena involved with uh, Zack Ryder and uh, go from there. But I think between No Way Out and WrestleMania, um, I don't see Cena at least being a part of the storyline between uh, Kane, Eve, and Zack Ryder. So WWE shows a vignette of Undertaker cutting his hair and American Badass starts trending on Twitter. Do people honestly believe that The Undertaker would recycle that gimmick? I got so many questions about Undertaker and uh, the fact that he cut his hair. Is this a sign that the American Badass character is returning? Now, I've been pretty certain that WWE would not bring back the, the character. Uh, Santa Claus himself ha made it very clear that he did not think that Undertaker was turn returning as the American Badass. But um, who knows? I mean, since it trended on Twitter, maybe WWE think that, thinks that, uh, that that's something people want to see. So um, I honestly don't think that WWE has any plan or has had a plan to make Undertaker return as the American Badass. I think that if it ends up happening, it's uh, because of Twitter, because it trended. I, I'm not even sure WWE was thinking about that when they, when they did the segment with Undertaker cutting his hair. It was probably just um, symbolic, Undertaker's cutting his hair, kind of like as a rebirth type thing. And also because he shaved his head last year and it didn't really grow back. And as we all saw, he had to wear the wig. And uh, this explains uh, why he's not going to wear the wig. I mean, his hair is going to be shorter and, um, you know, they don't have to worry about him trying to wrestle a match with a wig. So I think that's why they did it. And perhaps they will go with the American Badass thing and then I'll have egg all over my face. But what else is new? Hey Aaron, why was The Undertaker vs. Big Boss Man Hell in a Cell match left out of the Hell in a Cell DVD? Was it because people found Boss Man's hanging at the end to be too offensive or political reasons? I think they left it off the DVD because it was just a god-awful match. It was probably the worst Hell in a Cell match up until, up until uh, one, uh, any number of the Hell in a Cells from the Hell in a Cell themed pay-per-views. I mean... The, so many of those were really bland and uh, not very good at all. But uh, in terms of like the Attitude Era Hell in a Cell matches, I mean, Undertaker versus Bossman was by far the worst one. So, um, yeah, there wasn't really a good reason to put it on there. And, uh, yeah, I'm sure they're not going to want to show the hanging, especially since Bossman uh, is dead. So wouldn't be in the best taste to do that. Um, you know, perhaps one day we'll see it on the YouTube Are You Serious show, but that remains to be seen. How awful was that whole debate fiasco on Raw this week? It was pretty damn bad, I have to say. I mean, I, I, on paper, it sounds like maybe it's a good idea. You have the six participants for Elimination Chamber. Why not have them in a little debate thing? And, you know, it sounds cute. But the execution of it was just not good at all. I mean, the guys sounded very scripted. And 
CM Punk uh, mentioning the WWE Universe just did not sound like him, and it goes against this whole character he's been portraying for the last several months. And, uh, yeah, I just thought it was kind of a mess. And, uh, you know, you had the comedy with R-Truth, which was funny, but when you're trying to build to a main event match with uh, the world title on the line, you kind of want a little bit more serious atmosphere. So um, I wasn't crazy about it at all. And, uh, but, you know... It, it, it was, it was like I've said with the other segments, it's entertaining, but I think it was a bad segment in terms of trying to get people interested in the pay-per-view. Hey Aaron, great video. With Kofi on Raw saying he's been overlooked, do you think that means he'll get a shot at the WWE Championship, or he's got a chance at the WWE Championship in the Elimination Chamber match? I don't think so. I think uh, he's going to continue to be overlooked, and I think when he said that, a lot of people uh, kind of laughed at him, I'm, I'm sure. I mean... Kofi has uh, been in the mid-card, and uh, I don't really think now is his time. I think that if he's lucky, he'll get a spot at WrestleMania, maybe in Money in the Bank or um, in a multi-man match. But I don't really see him uh, getting any kind of a push, perhaps after WrestleMania, once uh, all the big stars are gone, Rock's gone, Shawn Michaels is gone, and uh, they need to start pushing new guys again. I think maybe then Kofi has a chance, but until then, I, I think he's just going to be a bit player. And... Any TV time he gets is a, a good thing for him, and he should just be fortunate that he's got that. I had a thought. Everyone throws a fit when older wrestlers won't retire and walk away from the business, but Undertaker seems to be an exception. In fact, people want to see him compete more. What's up with that? I don't really think it's so much people wanting him to compete more, and at this point, he cannot really compete more. He He's only really got one or two matches in him per year now. I mean, he's really broken down and... Uh, his health is just taking a toll on him. I just think that um, there's anticipation to see him at WrestleMania. And uh, because he appears um, once in a while and he's not on TV all the time, when he does appear, it's more special because he's not around. I just think that's what it is. And it's it's not people wanting to see him all the time now. It's just um, when he does appear, it, it's something special to them. Orton screwed up an RKO on the Big Show. Is Big Show going to TNA now? No, Big Show is not going to TNA, and uh, I did find that to be a really funny botch there. I mean, Randy Orton went for the RKO, and uh, Big Show was supposed to shove Orton into the ropes and then uh, go for the choke slam, but Big Show ended up taking the RKO, and uh, it was funny, just Orton standing there, and uh, yeah, I mean, that's what happens when you have live TV. Every once in a while, there's a miscue, and something like that happens. I'm sure that clip will be on Botchermania, and uh, it's just funny. Um... You know, things like that happen, and uh, Big Show's a big enough star that he's not going to get demoted like Kofi Kingston. I mean, you know, it's just, he's Big Show. Things will happen. Hey, Aaron, what did you think of what I considered a screw-up on Raw when it looked like the cameras went to Eve walking into the ambulance, sitting down, and then screaming? All the while, Kane is just standing there looking like he's waiting for his cue. Once again, that's the, that's the deal with live TV. Sometimes these things happen. You never see them on SmackDown because they're always able to edit out the clips on SmackDown. And if it's TNA, they either forget or, you know, there's just the incompetence there and, and they don't edit out the, the botches or whatever. But, um, yeah, I mean, it, it's funny. Like, same thing with the Big Show and Randy Orton. These things happen and uh, they're amusing when they do. And perhaps one day they will be on a future edition of Are You Serious if that show is still around down the line. We'll have to wait and see on that. Should the WWE and Undertaker streak... Uh, should WWE end Undertaker's streak by having a young star beat him if built up right and have that young star continue his own streak? Um, well, I said this before. In a perfect world, you would want to have a guy who is being groomed as the future of the company. You know he's going to be the future of the company. Have him end the streak. Give him the big rub. But um, right now, there's not really that guy that's going to, you know, there's no... John Cena or Randy Orton, a new John Cena or a new Randy Orton type of guy right now. So it's best to just let the streak continue. Um, and, you know, he's facing Triple H again at WrestleMania this year unless they change something at the last minute. And uh, Triple H isn't the guy. Uh, so I just think that I suspect Undertaker will uh, retire with the streak intact. And uh, I think that's the way to go. And um, unless you, like, out of nowhere you come up with somebody and you never know. You never know when somebody like, um, you know, Brock Lesnar came in, but there's really no guy in developmental that, that is like a Brock Lesnar where you know he's going to be a big deal and all he needs is a little bit of a push. There's not really that guy right now. So, 
yeah, I think Undertaker is uh, going to retire under, un, uh, undefeated at WrestleMania, but we'll see. All right, that'll do it for today's edition of No DQ and A video. Let me know what you think about the video. Leave a comment, youtube.com slash no DQ CAW. Make sure you subscribe. Please spread the word to everybody on Facebook and Twitter. And uh, stay tuned to nodq.com for the very latest. We'll see you next time.